What's going on guys? So this is Dustin coming in with another review for you guys. And today we have the wireless lav mic system by a Voxcom. See that there? All right. So this lav system is set up for kind of like interviewing processes, stuff like that. You can hook up uh, two receivers or two transmitter to one receiver. Um, it comes with two of these boxes. And this is so simple to use. The only thing I had to do was plug in the uh, receiver into my camera, turn the power on, and then turn the power on here. These are both rechargeable with, through the same um, micro USB connection. So you're going to charge this one and then you can charge the receiver, which has the same connection as well. Um, so far, the batteries, they last quite a long time. I've only had to charge them up once. Been using them for a week or two. Um, and I mean, so far, they'll, they'll last you all day. And they, even if not, like you could bring a power bank with you and you could charge them up through that and it'll work just fine. So what it comes with, it comes with two lav mics, just like this. You also get two headset mics. They sound exactly the same. They might actually even be the same, just about the same capsule in there. And they sound great. The only issue um, or suggestion that I would make is for some reason there's, there's a little bit more floor noise in these and that's probably just to deal with the uh, the cheaper electronics and stuff because for professional systems you're going to spend a whole lot more money than what 89 or something dollars whatever it is so i think with the system you get four mics total you get two of these and two of those it's super simple let me just turn this on right here for you guys you can see it's a super simple quick push of a button and you have it ready to roll. Just plug in. You can set your uh, level through here. It goes all, all the way up to a level 20. So if you want to increase your, your mic gain, you can do it straight through here. And you don't have to do anything on the receiving end. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this camera. You can see that's all it is. That's the receiver. All you have to do is hit the power button. Now it, it does come with like a quarter inch jack right here and you gotta reduce it down to the eighth inch jack that's on your camera. For the convenience, these sound really good. I do plan on getting like some wind muffs for these and just so I can have them. I do a lot of um, like skateboard riding and stuff like that. So to have that, that noise reduction and wind is definitely a must for me. The pairing was absolutely super simple. So if you're looking for simple and a quick setup, run and gun, this is it. So it says it can do 130 feet. I'm gonna walk about 50 feet away and I'm gonna see if it still works. So, so I shoot in the garage, woodworking garage, an old one. My camera is set up over there by the desk. And I am about 20 feet away right now. So <clears throat> let's go outside and let's just see how far we can get. Okay, so right now I'd guesstimate about 40 feet, 40 feet away. It's gonna go a little further. Let's see if we still have audio connection. And right now, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't even know if it's still recording. All I can say is that I'm out here still shooting. I'm pretty far away right now. So it's in my garage. I'm coming out here in my driveway. I'm gonna go all the way out to the street. Oh, and I got a package from Amazon. Nice. So, so I'm out in my street. Right, so it's not a clear shot to it. I have like my truck, I got the house, the gate, 
is all in the way, plus the, you know, the door to the garage. So I have all these things that could interfere with the noise or the transmission. So hopefully this works. I am, I would say I'm a good 80 to 100 feet away with those obstacles. So if it's still recording, I'm going to be highly impressed. That's, that's all I'm saying. Um, so let's walk back and see. So hopefully that non-scientific test proved whether or not how you can get decently far away from the receiver, still have good connection with quite a bit of obstacles around here. So not only do you have hard obstacles, you also have frequencies that you can't see, you know, the Wi-Fi's and all that good stuff. I'm not sure if it interferes with UHF signals, but if it does, there's a, there's like a lot of Wi-Fi signals going around here. If it stayed connected through the whole time, I would be thoroughly impressed. And at this price range with the amount of hardware that you get, and if it has that steady connection, like it says it does, it is well worth the money. Especially if all you have to do is apply a denoiser into your editing software and come out with uh, crisp clear audio is very well worth it considering their competition four times the amount at $300 compared to 80 or $89. I can't even remember how much I got this for, but if you're in the market, this is the brand to get. If you need to save some money, I mean, that $300 price range is, is quite steep. If you get the same conveniences with the same kind of product, why not save you some money and end up spending that on lighting or something like that? So far, this seems like a good deal. If it stays connected, it's definitely a good deal. Even if I got like 50 feet away, it would be a good deal in my opinion, because I'm never going to be that far away really. This is pretty much as far as I'm going to be away from the camera, maybe tops 20 foot. I don't see myself being like, I'm not here as a musician. I'm a video maker. I'm not going to be that far away from the camera. So they do have a Facebook and they have a QR code. If you get, if you have any kind of troubles or anything like that with them, as far as I can tell, their customer service seems to be okay. I don't know hundred percent, but with all, the products and stuff here, they sent you a little card with a QR code for customer support. And they have another one right there on the back. So that's three instances that I've seen that have their customer support code on there. They're pushing the customer support. Hopefully they're good. Maybe I'll reach out to them a little bit later just to see if they respond. They got a nice little manual here. So it does have like component illustration, troubleshooting, and how to hook up everything for you. So if you're real new to these types of systems, this will help you get you on your way. And I'm pretty sure if you hit up that customer support, they can even help you out even further than I can or these manuals can. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope, uh, we learned some new information about this product. And if you like the audio quality that's coming from this video, then go ahead and purchase these microphones. I will let you know if I recommend them after editing. So y'all have a good one and peace.